going on YouTube? My bearded dragon Sally wants to say hi, but I apologize for the delay in the, my videos. I have not posted one this month, so this will be March Reptile Room Tour 2017. There's my bearded dragon Sally. I think she's getting fed. And then right here is my two long tails. That is my male. And that is my female. And I'll show you inside their cage. If they don't get spooked. There's the female. There's the male. Right here is my leopard gecko George. Got name tags now. There's the first reptile that I've had for a really long time. Which is my, he is a leopard gecko. And he's coming out to say hi. He thinks he's getting fed too. And right here are my American bullfrogs. There is my, one of my males. Big bull. My other one is right there. That's legs. They're both males. They do not really fight, they just croak a lot, that's all they do. And I'll clean that water after I get done making the video. I don't know if you can see him, but right in the back, that's my puffer fish. His name's the Puffer. There, he's a shot of him. His name's the Puffer. He's just in this tank by himself. He killed my dragon goby, so... No, I take that back. He bit my dragon goby and my garter snake. Demon killed him by trying to eat him when he got out. Right here are my two garter snakes. That's the big one. That one's Satan. And then right over there is the little one. That one's Demon. And then right over here, there's my other leopard gecko, Einstein. He's doing really good. Some live plants, dead tree stump, dragon tree actually is what that was. And right here I have my red ear slider turtle. Her name is Snapper. The water looks really dirty, it's really not, it's just tannin from that log. And as you can see on that log is Crush. He got moved in here recently and the only other thing I've done in this tank was put dirt on the bottom and covered over with rocks. And all the, sorry for the dirty glass, but as I've said many times before, splashing water makes dirty glass. And right here are my other aquatic turtles, they're painted. Bruce is really interested in the walk, getting out and walking around. Up here, just chilling with me, is my green iguana. I actually have to be standing on my bed to get to it, he's up at my ceiling. I can get him down without him getting mad at me. Well, here's my green iguana, Ozzy. He was just sleeping up there. George. There's my dear dragon Sally again. This is Ozzy. Stay tuned and I'll get into my red iguana, Jenny. Right here is my red iguana, Jenny. She's always sweet as can be. She's got a live plant. She does eat those pellets, so. They do eat pellet food, but I still do give them greens, more, mostly collard greens, mustard greens, and sometimes kale. But being that it's almost springtime, well, it is technically springtime, the dandelions are coming out. That's what I mostly feed them during the summer months. Right here is Cinderella. She had to get moved because the other frogs wouldn't let her eat. 
and I move my blue belly right here into this cage. That was just my speaker, so it's my blue belly. All right, guys, this is a new addition. It is a neon tree dragon. She is right here. Her name is Lashone. She's not fired up right now, but don't want to be handled right now either. But they are really cool. They feel really like a lot like a bearded dragon if you've ever felt a bearded dragon. There's the shown. I have we have another one which is my mom's and I'll show you that in a minute. She's not really fired up. My mom's is a male and this is a female and he's always fired up. And in here is my native tank, it just